Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Monday. Yeah. All right, guys. So in the other videos for today, if you guys were not interested, I just gave the big reveal. I literally swallowed, broke my veneer off and swallowed it. And now today I'm going to get a new one. Um, okay, I'm exposed. But anyways, we're not back to talk about my veneer. No, no. We're back to talk about The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So before we jump in, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell while I'm sitting over here all toothless, not homeless and shit. And let's get into it. Here we go. Yes. I feel sexy. Okay. Enough, Adam. Now, I wanted to bring this up because right now they are filming The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, as we all know, and we got some little tidbits. Sutton Strack said that she's dating her business hmm. after her ex-husband Christian Strax moved to London. Now, she also shared an update on her relationship with Kyle Richards. I was a little shocked by this. Last season, she suggested her ex's move was difficult given that she now has to co-parent from across the Atlantic. And she also got into it with Kyle, who, according to Sutton, didn't share enough about her marital issues with Mauricio at the time. But since then, Kyle and Mauricio have split, and Kyle and Sutton made peace. My ex-husband moved to London, and it's harder than anticipated, is what she told People magazine, explaining how difficult the transition has been as one of her sons is going to school in the UK. My son will be home any day now, but it's funny because my son and I are really close. We spend every day and every night together. But it's been fun and you work things out. And so everything's good. Hmm. Sutton shared that fans will see her talk about men a lot in the new season, but she isn't focused on dating. I don't have a lot of time for it. I'm really dating my business and enjoying it. And I get frustrated a lot because the learning curve is quite steep, but also while maintaining a balance of home life and also friendships. Now, Sutton then addressed filming with castmates for season 14. I think that it's always great to be with a group of smart women and businesswomen. I've learned a lot from these women for the last five years, and I've kind of come into my own. I feel like I've really found my voice, and I think becoming stronger as a businesswoman has made me stronger as a person. Now, it was in a new interview with Us Weekly where Sutton shared an update on her friendship with Kyle since they ended their feud. We're in a really good place. I just love her, and I love our friendship where it's going, so... I want to be there for her to support her in any way that I can. But the improvement is partially thanks to Kyle confiding in Sutton over her relationship issues. We've talked about some things, and I seem to be the queen of divorce. I don't know why. Um, can I just say, we know why. We know why you're the queen of divorce. You want to know why? I'll tell you why. You're the queen of divorce because you literally walked away with almost half a million dollars a month. And it just keeps going unless she gets married, which, first of all, no, you would have to be a real idiot. If I was married to you and we end up getting a divorce and you have to pay me alimony and you have to pay me all of the things until one day I get remarried and those things, well, I know her alimony is $300,000 a month, but plus all of the other stuff that she gets paid. Yeah, I'm never fucking getting married again. Never. I would be like, and if I met somebody and they didn't understand why, I would be like, okay, you want to get married? I need $500,000 a month. Oh, you can't do that? Oh, I imagine that. No, I would never get married. That's why she's the queen of divorce. I mean, think about it. Baseball team, stocks, bonds. $300,000 a fucking month, plus all the other shit. So $500,000 a month. And she's like, people seem to think I'm the queen of divorce. And I don't know why. We definitely don't think that you're toothless or homeless. So, yeah. Speaking of which, Jason added some more lights to the back. It's definitely moody. I think I'm going to put one more behind. It makes me feel like 
and being all sexy and whatnot, especially now. But we're going to move on. I, I'm excited to see this season of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I think that I totally agree with the blind item that said that Kyle Richards called the paps on Mauricio at the Mykonos airport in order to catch him, in order to be able to talk about it. Because if something comes out in the press while they're filming, then they have to address it. And that's exactly what happened. And it makes sense. And it adds to her storyline. I do agree that I, I mean, I believe that that happened. And I'm also curious how the new castmate is doing. Bazama. Now, back to it. Erica Jane. We haven't heard about her in a while, and I'm not mad about that, to be honest with you. But she reacted to a fan having tattooed her face on their leg. I only know one other crazy person who would be willing to do that. And that person's a moron. I could see them doing that. But I think that's like a real obsession. Listen, as much as I love even my most favorite, I don't have a, do you guys have a favorite celebrity, by the way? I don't have a favorite celebrity, I don't think. People always ask me too, like, who's your favorite housewife? I'm like, I really don't have a favorite housewife. Who's your favorite singer? I don't have a favorite singer. Well, who's your favorite? I'm like, I really don't have a favorite anything. And I for damn sure am not giving you this leg. Okay, no, no, I'm not giving you this leg for your face. I'm giving you a little leg, but not for your face. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't tattooing shit on me. But wait, this is the photo. And that's a big ass. I don't want that girl's face on my fucking leg. Gotta look at that shit every single day. No. Now, as she also poked fun at President Joe Biden's recent departure from the 2024 presidential race against former President Donald Trump, by looking back at the controversial story that she told about her now estranged husband, Tom Girardi's home robbery years ago. Well, she posted a photo or at least a story about this. Here, let me just pull this up. It was a clever play. I get what she was doing. If you guys can't read that because it's not big enough, it says... Joseph R. Biden Jr., July 21st, 2024. My fellow Americans. Tom's house was broken into and he confronted the burglar and then had to go have eye surgery. And then my son had to go over and help. And then my son, he rolled his car five times on the way home. So yeah, I'm under a lot of stress. For that reason, I'm withdrawing from the upcoming presidential race. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> Clever. Clever. But... Also, I do want to say, too, I'm not making fun of this woman. Let me just pull her up. I'm just saying I would never do this. I'm not not making fun of Erica Jane. It's definitely making fun of her sometimes. But, yeah. What? Girl. Why? 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 Okay. Anyways, I want to hear what your thoughts are, guys. Pop off in the comment section, please. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And um, I got to go get my tooth. So I'm going to skedaddle, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Love you guys. Bye. Well, wait, did I miss anything? Besides my tooth? Mm. No, I don't think so. Love you guys. Bye.